Philly. Let's go. Straight. Yeah, this, it's just going to be the Soul Dynasty going up against the Philadelphia Fusion. These teams have clashed before. Dynasty has had the upper hand, but Fusion have been looking great as of late. They got to be taking the lion's share of that damage. Fitz. Absorbs quite a bit of it with the bubbles. Sound barrier going to be dropped by Fixa. Meteor strike out for Bellas Rhea. Takes it out to safety. Drops down. Now comes in. Dives forward and ends up being snatched up by the grab from Smurf. They had a Manti out. They thought they could get the elimination, but they cannot. Instead, it's going to be four quick kills. Now looking for the fifth. There it is. Coming through for the side of the diamond. Counter cap getting ready to come through. Bellas Rhea going to be anti up at the moment. And he can't go to Primal. Prophet manages to find the elimination. He thought he was going to be able to safely escape. Now the flip is back into control of the dynasty with the overtime bleeding away. Zest touches, the gets the contest there. But there is the elimination. Grav going to be used, catches Fixa. And that will be the closeout on the round. They let him get close, but not too close. Out, but yet again, the dash is going to be there. Genji gets back on a solid ground, but Venheim chases, finds the elimination. Now he's looking for another one with the help of Fitz. They will take down Fixa. There's no way in hell that Venheim is getting back up. Ends up falling, sailing off the side of the map, but the kill on to Aim God, the support. The, ride. the plate is there, the Neno's out. He finds Creative. Is that going to be enough, though? Slicing and dicing, he's trying to cut his way through the Reinhardt. He will eventually find Smurf, but they still need to contest this point. Prophet is there, he's in the ice block. Fitz going to be anti and out, ends up going down. Prophet trying to buy some time. As they try to hound down a Vinheim as well. Vinheim will kill off Aim God, and just like that, the Once more, the point going to be capped. The OT will start bleeding away. They can at least get a reset on that timer. Carpe trying to dive in deep. Has this pulse pump at the ready, but he's going to be anti out. The recall was already used. Aim God, Carpe, Fix. Fixa now gone, and that is going to be it. Zest this time. I don't think he can pull a rabbit out of a hat. He'll dash forward, but the beam is there from Smurf. The damage from Prophet. They will get the elimination. It'll take them a little bit longer. They only get up to 30%, though. Soul Dynasty will take the first map, moves forward, and it's not a very forward position here for the Fusion. They're actually playing quite far back. A lot of damage there on Zest. A lot of damage on Smurf as well. M and 3 however, are going to be taken out of the fight. Fits with the Helix Rockets, finds the connection. There's a big window of opportunity now as the DPS have been broken down. Wrapping around the backhand side. Oh, it's just like Christmas for a Winston player. You swing into the side room, you say, oh, look, it's both the supports. The cleanup will yeah. come through. Fix it, we'll send Kratom off the side of the map at his dying breath. But From receiving the sound barrier, and where's the touch? Bellas Rhea missed the jump, M3 still gets there in time. They managed to get there in time, and now it's going to be an Anabinder waiting for them with Fitz. I mean, just shielded up. Bows down two. Here's the DPS eliminated. Zest not going to be given the opportunity to use that blade here on this point. It would seem Bellas Rhea taking a nap. He's within contest. Uh, range, so the cart does not glide through yet, but as they clean up the enemy wins. It wasn't even intended for Bellas Rhea, but Bellas Rhea catches on his way out. Now he's dead. Fitz is popping off with the nano. He doesn't even have the visor yet. He might not have to use it. He almost gets aimed. God, now the visor comes through. MN3 going to be the recipient, but he instantly gets melted down. The cleanup comes through, and it is a massive time bank here. I think by far the best that the team now coming through. Bellas Rhea going to be taking a nap. It's creative. Manages to get the sleep. Pulse Bomb not going to find the elimination, but it might not matter because Aim God still going to be taken down by Prophet with a Pulse Pistol. Oh, but there's the stick. What? And Zest, he will answer back in a major way. Creative and Prophet both now going to be out of the fight. It's Fixa got rid of the enemy Soldier 76 as well. Vendheim, so low HP, cannot escape. Smurf will be the last one getting cleaned up this year. Getting wow. Cleaned up here as he fishes for a little bit of extra primal charge. Mini pack, and that's going to be the visor expiring in the meantime. M3, he gets an antidote up, and he just takes down Smurf. Now, Prophet going to be dead as well. Bionade out onto two. Zest will fall, create a fight for the elimination. Okay. But that's as good as it gets for them in this fight. One member lost the team kills. Sprint their way over, escorted by Fixa, giving him that speed boost. And Prophet going to get five off. Philly. Aim God just sniping him out. Pulse bomb held, Vinheim falling low, Sliver of HP remaining for him, Zest dashes in, gets oh. that kill, gets the pulse bomb stick, and this man once more says, nope, I don't want to lose, I want to get the, the point B cap, please. If it's only able to find one, the cleanup is there, and that should basically be it, with Prophet dying, yes, they will get a little bit of a time bank bump up, his exit and successfully does so, but there's a pulse bomb waiting on either side. Smurf eventually does end up getting dropped. Fitz now exiting back through the spawn, just rejoins the fight, gets the nano visor, finds two instantly. He's looking for another one. The bubble comes down though, it blocks his slide of sight on the fix it. He can't get the kill, The Prophet damn sure can. Soul Heaven. Now Bellas Rhea gonna be taken down, and yes they do. Zest, despite his best efforts, his wants to win, cannot. Come on. Good opening kill here from Fitz. The cart for now gonna be contested in the underpass, just at the top of the ramp. As the dive comes in, Aim God gonna be anti out. Prophet gets on top of him. Smurf gonna be taking a nap for now, but there's no one there. 
to try to pressure him out. Zest as well, falling the shield bash from Vinheim, finding the elimination, and Fitz can just spray down. Unscoped left click for the kill on the Rhea. This might be a and, cap. I mean, go for the mini pack, tucks into the no side room, and hide. now we'll pop the infrasight as the call comes in. They say, Belsaria, we need you back over by the cart. Smurf finding an elimination, finds a second. Aim God gonna be taken down now. Zest falling as well. And, I mean, they're just playing around this so perfectly. Fitz says, no, it's fine. Like I can deal with the Winston pressure, and the cap is going to come through. And again, he has to be the one to clutch this one forward. He has the blade. There's not a lot to stop him. M3. He finally makes his way out of the spawn room doors. Gets the headshot there on a profit. Oh. Tags been named down low. Forces him to keep the shield raised and try to make his exit bills free in the meantime. Did find creative, and there you go. That is exactly what the Fusion fans have been waiting for. Alt Zest now, the blade comes out, M3 opens things up, gets rid of Creative, says nope, no sleep darts for you. Reflection gonna be used, still a nice shot there. On to Zest, and despite the pressure, Fitz will manage to survive. In the meantime, the fight is being turned. Probably gets Bell's Rhea, Fix are gonna be gone. The headshot's in, they get the finish onto the Widowmaker, and Aim God, last one standing. They cannot hold it. They drain the time bank considerably, but it's still two minutes and 35 at the finish. Hot second, but Aim God has a nano. Creative has already used his. That would be the advantage. Brilliant opening kill for Zest. <gasps> the sleep! Probably got slept as he tried to pull the blade, and MN3 is there for the headshot. That's a major shot down, and one that was desperately needed from the side of the fusion. It doesn't even cost that many ultimates, Avril. They still hold on to four. Now the cart can be opened. Yep, 1.2 meters left to go. Zest, however, finds another final blow. Takes down Prophet Villas. You're going to be taking a nap, and this time it's on Fitz to go ahead and get the headshot, which he oh, does. Whoa. Zest, however, is starting to come online. Okay. It's a couple kills here in the fight. Pushes up into Fitz's face. Fitz will put a bullet into his mouth, but now he's got to relocate. Look at that source code. Okay, Blade's going to be pulled. There's oh, a sleep Jesus. start from Creative. <laughs> Puts him on the ground, the bio is there, he's gonna dash out, manages to make his way out to safety and actually killed Prophet in transit somehow. I think that was an accident, a happy little one for the side of the fusion, but the rest of this fight is not happy at all. Smurf is just there, he is cleaning to get the tag yet again to extend. But can they somehow win this fight? Fixa has the rally rolling, he's gonna be anti out, finished Sleep. out by Prophet, who sent swapped over onto the tracer. Zest going in desperation towards the Sombra, but Prophet is starting to clean things up. MN3 re-arrives with the tracer, but is just as quickly taken down, and there you go, the hold inside the hangar. The 3-0 lead, the match point achieved by the Soul Dynasty. Work with Fitz on the flank here, and it will work with the Carpe, that's a kill from Creative. It's under some fire, trying to stay alive, pulling back, but Fix It gets in on top of him, but ends up dying for it. Been aimed fast to respond. Takes down that enemy Lucio, the dashboard from Profit results in the melee kill on Aim God now without any supports. Bellas Rhea is going to be trying to hold the bot in place here as long as he possibly can. Maybe make an exit, but no. Jumps over to the side. Profit will go ahead and scoop up this elimination. Will not find the stick, and now Fitz going to charge the corner. Nanovisor out. Instantly finds Carpe, looks for a little bit more, and he sees many a target. Sat up here in the corner. Guns down, fix the aim god, gone. He will manage to get taken down there in the end by Bell's Rio. With the ultimates, in fact, the solid five volts means they can push further. Oh, Bell's Rio can't even exit. Now here comes the visor once more. Zest will bop Prophet on the nose there, it seems, but the rest of the team. Right, let's go back to Overwatch 1. They need something here. They have to win every single fight from here on out. Okay, there's the Nano Carpet trying to push in, but the Anti comes down, he's got 2 HP, can they finish him off? They finally will. Creative gets right up into his face, gets him with a melee hit, fits as well. Getting down and dirty, finds Aim God. Zest doing his damn, just got 2 kills here in the fight, but the rest of the team ends up getting dropped. And just like that, the Dynasty, they manage to clap back. He's top, but Smurfs does the same, he goes into the back lines, he's looking for the DPS, he's looking for the supports. Decides to contest the bot instead. Bellas Rhea will find Creative, he finds Fitz. Bellas Rhea looking to break things open for them, there's still so far to go though. The they have to broken. get this cap Smurf now coming on through. To fall. One shields up everybody. An app from Bellas Rhea taken down. Creative put him on the floor. They put him in the grave. This is it. The pulse bump from Prophet finds Carpe. And yes, I do believe you are correct. Zest answers back with one last kill, but the OT will bleed down ever so quickly. And they absolutely dominate their way to a championship win here in the kickoff clash. The Soul Dynasty will take this final 4-0.